we're ready for Jordan, should we say. We think, uh, you know, we, last year, last time we are here, we, we, uh, we managed to win. Yeah, it does bring back uh, good, good memories. We're ready for the fight, so we'll see. That would be a huge achievement for us this weekend. Dawn breaks over the Dead Sea, the sun rising slowly to welcome a new day. It's time for round three of the FIA World Rally Championship to get underway. It's time for Rally Jordan. Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team are rallying below sea level this weekend and the challenge is immense, with desert conditions and high temperatures making this event unique on the championship calendar. Day one consists of seven stages which visit some historical places with biblical references, the baptism site and Mount Nebo, where Prophet Moses is said to have looked out across the promised land. There will be plenty of looking out this weekend by the hundreds of fans, but their sights will be on the rally cars that are flying through the rocky terrain. Road sweeping would be difficult here and no driver was keen to be first on the road on the second day, but the team had a bold strategy. Yari Mati Latvala had been setting amazing pace throughout the day and although other teams deployed slowing tactics to achieve a better road position, Latvala put his foot to the floor on the final stage to give himself a 30 second advantage. There were lots of questions during Rally Mexico and after Rally Mexico about the pace of the Fords. I think after day one here in Jordan, that has been truly forgotten. It's been an awesome performance by you today. It's been a very good day, but um, honestly saying after Mexico when we were testing, I was quite confident that we should be back at the base in here, here in Jordan because normally just Mexico has been a rally which not been sweeping our car so well in the last four years. So it's been always a little bit like, a little bit not so good even for us. So I thought that, you know, we should be good here, but we had a very good start for the rally, very clean run, no mistakes, so pleased with the day. Miko Hirvonen and co-driver Jarmo Leitinen sat in fifth position at the end of the day, giving themselves a great advantage for day two. Miko, fifth on the road on day two, you are 42 seconds off the lead. How are you feeling at the end of day one? <coughs> it's uh, pretty good. Position where we are now, everything is still possible. And um, OK, Jari Matti is far ahead. He's had a very, very good day and he's been driving well. But Sebastian Ogier, he's second and we are only 12 seconds behind him, so we are in a good position. You know, we're back on pace. Uh, it's very good. It's a great feeling to have. Yari Matti finished the day in the lead. Um, Miko's in fifth place and a good position for tomorrow. So I'm happy and I think all the team are happy. It's Good Friday. Easter weekend begins around the world and here in Jordan too. It's a big day for Yari, Matti and Mika. They start first on the road and will be trying their best not to lose too much time to the charging drivers behind. For Mika and Yamo, their goal is to move up the leaderboard. But disaster strikes for Mika on the opening stage. Very stupid, small mistake actually, but uh, it's just like you come out of a slow, corn, slow corner and you start actually riding over the crest and you can see that place from far ahead, so it's not, not the place where you go off. But somehow I just managed to hit the bank in the inside and it just th threw the car in the air and it turned like on, on my side in the air and landed in the front corner to the ground which broke the suspension in the front, so uh, that was it. It just we couldn't fix it or drive it anymore and just needed to retire. To be honest, I can't explain what happened. It's, uh... It's a place everybody can drive flat over the crest and for some reason we went too much inside and my side of the wheel stay clipped the bank and it threw the car airborne like 20-25 meters and we landed just on uh, Mikko's front wheel and the impact was so, so heavy that it ripped off basically everything from the corner. Teammate Yari Matti was continuing with his good run, although Sebastian Loeb was exerting pressure from behind and eventually moved into the lead. The final stage would tell whether rival team Citroen would tactically slow again to put Latvala first on the road. They didn't. Instead, they made a mistake, which saw Sebastian Ogier move in front of Latvala, which dropped him to third, ultimately giving Yari Matti a better road position for the final day. Uh, obviously, we are a good position for tomorrow. We are not leading the rally anymore, but third 
position for the last day is a good, it's 27, 28 seconds. And um, if everything clicks together, we have a chance to, to catch Lope. But he's the best man in the world, being first car of the road. So everything really needs to click together. And if I can get the good feeling in the morning, and I just get the good flow like on, uh, already in the first day, Thursday, then it's uh, at least we can give the pressure and uh, it'll be interesting day coming up. He might have a chance, but okay, everything needs to go 100%, but it also puts more pressure on Sepp. He can't take it to relax tomorrow, so... It's a possibility. It's, it's, a, it's a tall order. But uh, if you look at the way that Yari went running from third position on, on day one, then it's, uh, it's possible to make you know, a big, uh, at least put a lot of pressure on Sebastian. So um, we'll definitely be doing that. Yeah, I mean, he's got to do it, and we've got to let uh, Yari Matty off the leash tomorrow and uh, see what he can do. He's uh, in third place, uh, but 27 seconds behind, um, two cars in front. Uh, who knows what he can do, but it, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Another long day had passed. Many competing crews had retired from the challenge of Jordan and most were suffering the effects of the high temperatures. The team's data analyst Michael Croft-White explains to us how the heat can affect man and machine. It's quite a challenge. I mean, temperatures in the cars can get sort of up into the high 50 degrees and at that level you're, you're struggling, you sweat a lot, uh, you lose a lot of fluids and it becomes very hard to actually concentrate on on what you're doing, particularly with the Jordan River stage, where they're actually having to work for, well, pretty much the longest stage they're going to have all season. But it's not just about the crews, we also have issues with the car, um, and we have to be prepared for. Extreme temperatures can, can affect how the engine's cooled and, and various other factors, so it's, it, is, it is a big challenge, and it's one we certainly can't afford to ignore. Final day and a big day for Yari Matti Latvala in more ways than one. Not only would he be challenging a six-time world champion for victory, it was also his 25th birthday. Drama kicked off before the very first stage got underway, with tactics being deployed by rival Citroen to alter the driver's start order. Ford responded with a strategy of their own, but rival and leader Loeb was now second on the road and did not face the disadvantage of sweeping it clear as Latvala had yesterday. Yari Matti and Mika fought valiantly, keeping pressure on leader Loeb, but it wasn't enough. And after a hard-fought event, they took away a strong second position overall and now move into second in the Drivers' Championship. All went on this morning. It was like a big game of chess. Did that distract you at all from the job in hand? No, not really, no. I, I'm like, I spoke, we spoke with Mika in the in the car that we need to concentrate for the for just for the driving and not let it let it go in our heads and, and that's what we did but uh, honestly saying Sebastian was really pushing hard and uh, I couldn't match the speed of he, his I was not so far away it was only a little bit slower but that that was too much three consistent rallies on the trot now when you look back to last year this is such a different year for you. It's completely different. It's it's a big difference, and uh, I'm very happy how it has started. And uh, I think so. This will boost my self confidence, and uh, let's keep going this way. It's it's good for the team, good for me. Um, the one thing I'm really pleased about is uh, is to be back, really setting fastest time, being on the pace compared to where we were in uh, Mexico. So that's a great boost for the team. And uh, another great boost as well is obviously Yari Mati's performance because. Uh, I think everybody knows the sort of pressure he's been under, even on this event, to still get to the end in a very strong position. And that he's done, uh, he's done exceptionally well. Yeah, it's been a really good rally for us, I mean, uh, for Jarimotti and myself. Okay, uh, Mikko had a problem yesterday, and uh, he had to retire yesterday. Luckily, we were close enough uh, to challenge Lopes today. So, uh, okay, we still could have win this rally, but we are very pleased to be a second as well. Yesterday, when we spoke about unleashing Yari Matti, it was um, something we wanted to do this morning, and that's what we had planned all along. Unfortunately, there were some tactics, and winning for us is important, uh, not winning at all costs, because integrity is important to us as well. And, you know, tactics have the potential to destroy the sport, so we just need to keep an eye on that in the future. Uh, it's been a good day for us. Yari Matti's performed well. He's done exactly what we wanted him to do, and he's secured us manufacturer points.
Turkey is coming up very soon and that's a very important event for us too because we've such a strong uh, business with our partners, uh, um, the Koch group with Ford Autosan in Turkey and we, we intend to be there in strength and we hope we uh, will win there for all our fans in Turkey. The team will return at the next event in Turkey, ready to fight back. The challenge of Jordan may be over, but for the 2010 World Rally Championship, the real battle is only just beginning.